Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keegan and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. Before we start, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe so you don't miss any of the episodes of the Fire Red Nuzlocke, so you can keep up to date with all the goings on. Last episode, we beat Misty, we got our Cascade badge, and now, with Cassini in hand, our new friend, we're going to be heading off to Vermilion City. Alright, so from memory, Vermilion City is just through here pretty easily. Uh, what's she got to say for herself? Do I have a Nidoran boy? Will I trade for Nidoran girl? I don't have a Nidoran boy, but I wouldn't trade it for Nidoran girl if I had one anyway. Alright. Uh, so, last episode, we did pretty well. At, the, at this point, actually, before we go any further, I probably need to be training up. Uh, let's train Cassini up. Cassini and Pies up. Let's see if, how good Cassini is. I'm not sure of Meowth. Actually, let's have a look at Meowth's or Cassini's stats. So, uh, what's he looking like? Uh, he's quick. He's got average pretty much everything else. He's quick. He's quick. He's got pickup, so he'll probably pick up a couple of useful items for us as we're walking around. Always helpful. All right, especially early in the game. Let's head up and out. Alright, so, Route 6, we've got a chance to catch a new Pokemon, but before we do that, let's take on this trainer here. He's worried about the bugs in the area, we're just worried about it being a decent Pokemon to use. Alright, got Weedle, level 16, alright, Cassini's level 16, he should be able to do this pretty easily. Alright, let's go Scratch. Just see, alright. Not great. Right, let's try bite and see how much bite does. Alright, that's better. Alright, we'll go with bite. Please don't poison. Good. Scratch again. Alright, Cassini off to a good start. Alright, because I know the dark moves in this game are all considered special, so I didn't actually remember what Cassini's special stats were like. But at the moment, not too bothered. Caterpie. Let's just go keep going with bite. We got a chance to flinch. Tackle. Nah, not too bothered. Bite again. Alright. One more scratch should do it. Easy. Alright. Cassini's getting some good levels here. Alright. Bite. Love. If I could get it flinch. No. Not happening. I'm actually not sure what I can catch around here. So after I finish this battle, we'll, we'll check out what's in the grass. See if there's anything worth catching. I have a feeling there might be actually be an Ekans in this grass. I'm not 100% sure. I can't really remember. But we'll check it out anyway. Alright. Done that. Alright. Let's go check this grass. What do we see? Anything useful? Another Meowth. Well, only level 12, because he's level 16. I'm, I must have lucked out with the level of the Meowth I caught. Alright, just to bite off. Somehow feel I've got the advantage there. Scratch. Easy. What else can we find here? We'll get Meowth up to level 17 before we take on those other trainers. Pidgey, already got it. I wonder how much damage Pidgey will do. Hopefully, Cassini doesn't have to be switched out. He might have to be switched out. Alright, he's definitely going to have to be switched out or healed. What do we got as far as healing items go? Let's use a Super Potion instead. I don't really, didn't really want to waste it, but... Cassini's worth it, especially if we're going to be levelling this guy up. I actually don't know. If anyone knows in the comments below, if you want to drop, what level does uh, does Meowth evolve in this game? I can't actually remember. Alright, flinched. Good. Fight again. Awesome. I would, however, like to find something remotely useful in this grass. <laughs> 
<laughs> all seems to be Pokemon I already have. It's like going back through time machine. All right. That sweet sense. Not too bothered. Clinch, nice. Bite is doing some serious work for us, which is great. Please get rid of it. Awesome. Alright. Level 17. What are our stats looking like? That looks looking a bit nicer. Alright, for these next trainers. Senior's level 17. He's actually got an item, which is great. She's got an item, I should say. Take Durin Berry. I really should use berries, but I just never really have the motivation to. Pies. Let's, let's see if we can get some action to pies. Alright. Picnic and Nancy. Radita. Alright. I should be able to confusion it pretty easily. Pies has pretty decent defense from memory, so I'm not too worried about Hyper Fang one hitting me. Even though it's tailed it twice, so that could be a distinct possibility. Confusion would be nice. Quick attack. Still doing pretty well. And there goes Radita. Pikachu. Alright. Have to switch out. Pepper should be able to deal with Pikachu pretty easily. Level 20, so... And I don't know if it was this game, but an A game. Uh, grass has, is resistant to electricity, so... This should work in our favour. Just absorb Pikachu constantly. Quick attacks. Alright. One more absorb, and that should actually get it done. Easy. Alright. Pikachu is down and out. And ready to go. Next trainer, let's just keep going. One Pokemon, Squirtle. Level 20 could be an issue, but we're just going to switch into Pepper and should have it easily covered. Part of me really misses not getting Squirtle at the start of the game. really do like the Squirtle evolution line and not really huge on the Charmander one. I've never been a huge fan of Charizard, as some people really, really are. We just have to bash absorb until we get the job done. I can't wait till Pepper learns a better grass move. <laughs> just sitting here hitting absorb is pretty, pretty lame. That should just about do the job. Awesome. Before we go further, we will grab a couple, use a couple of our potions to heal up to make sure that we're not lacking in the health department. Because at this point, I just want to get to Vermilion City where I can just use the Pokemon Center there and go and go from there. Alright, 
bug trainer. So, with the bug trainer there, what we might do is switch out pies. Oh, not what I mean to do. Oh, not what I mean to do. Again, switch pies out. Pidgey should be able to dominate this pretty easily. Pidgey's gust should be able to knock over this bug catcher pretty easily, even if he has a Butterfree. It's level 20, so slightly worried about any moves he might have, but I reckon we should just about be okay. If worse comes to worse, we'll switch in to Menasaur. Uh, poison Powder's annoying, but can't do much about it. I'm actually worried about him knowing Confusion, so hopefully we can get rid of him before that becomes a problem. Supersonic is a problem. Uh, should I risk... Do I risk it? I'll risk it once. If it doesn't come up, I'll switch Pidgey out. Alright, Pidgey's getting switched out. Hopefully... Excellent. Alright. So... Pidgey's just going to sit there hurting himself constantly, so we're going to switch... Out. Let's get our own pies in there. <sighs> Supersonic. Ah, oh, that's what I gotta look forward to on my my Butterfree at least. Sleep powder. This is rather annoying. Uh, we are going to switch into Menasaur because I can't bother dealing with this anymore and we're just gonna try and knock him out. Thought he had me with supersonic. Ember <sighs> dealt with. That was annoying more than anything else. Menasaur's up to level 19. He's coming along really well, which is good to see. And Pies and Pies is up to level 17. He's also coming along really well. That special attack and special defense is looking rather tasty. You are right, Harold. I am too good. Alright. We're going to check out... Probably need to do an antidote to... Do I have an antidote? Oh, I've got two, luckily. Let's start with Pidgey up front. With Pidgey up front, we should get some XP as I switch in and out. Uh, two more trainers, and then I'm into a million, and I can go to the Pokemon Center. With their own Pidgey. Pidgey's gonna come out. We're gonna throw in... something like Cassini. Cassini, I should say. We're gonna tackle. Not too bothered. We're gonna bite. Hopefully flinch. No flinch, unfortunately. We're gonna bite again. Flinch. No flinch. Bite for a third time. Piggy's down. Cassini's actually gonna be very, very handy once we get to the high levels and we start versing the ghost ghost Pokemon because the dark dark's good against ghosts and. Ghost moves don't affect normal Pokemon, so that'll be a handy, handy one to have. Also, when we eventually get to the Psychic Gym, if we still have Cassini around, that bite is going to be coming in handy against those Pokemon too. Of course. Please don't. Alright. Switch out. Nothing really I can use here. Menasaur's just going to get in there and just wipe the rest of the team. Last Pokemon. If it's another Pidgey, it is another Pidgey. You know, that's what I hate, sort of didn't enjoy about the first few games, was just the constantly having three or four of the same Pokemon. You think, you think, 
hopefully coming into the sun and moon that um they sort that out and Pokemon only um only uh trainers sorry only have one of each type of Pokemon or at least have different evolved forms because I really do get sick of just versing versing Pokemon trainers that have just basically a lot of the same type of Pokemon all right Last trainer before we're in Vermillion. Pretty ready just to get over this and get into Vermillion and go to the Pokemon Center so I can heal up. Spiro. Don't really want to deal with Spiro. Hopefully, he doesn't have Pursuit actually. That could be a problem. I don't think they have Pursuit at this point. No. Growl's not really going to affect Menasaur in the slightest. Ember. Leave. Nah. Pretty uninspiring there. Spiro. Spiro moves there. Another Ember. Down and out. Right, okay. Bit more interesting to see at least. But I should still have it pretty well covered. It's three levels below me, so. All I'm worried about is Hyper Fang, but at the moment, I think, unless I get critted and critted bad, oh, I should be fine now. Too quick for Raticate. It's out unless it does quick attack. Oh! I got that feeling in the pit of my stomach then for a second going, oh no, it's gonna. going to kill me. But, no problem there. And we roll on into the million. Good to know. Alright, heal up. Before we finish the episode, we're going to quick have a quick look around Vermillion. I don't actually remember what's in Vermillion, so we're going to talk to a few people. See if anyone's got anything to trade or any items or anything that we could use. Versus Seeker, that was going to be handy when I if I need to grind. Let's go over here, have a look over here. Oh, grab that old rod, even though I'm pretty sure I know the only thing that I'll be able to catch. Unfortunately, it's not very exciting or very interesting. So SSN, that's probably that's probably for next episode, we'll definitely do that. Go listen to him talk about Pokemon. How much he loves his Rapid Dash. Kind of a weird sort of... A weird sort of love. But we got the bike voucher. So off screen what I might do is I might head back to Cerulean and get the bike. You don't really want to... You don't really... Guys nearly need to see me. Go get the bike. So we'll just... Do that. I'm pretty sure there's someone that trades something good. Now, do I have a Spearow? I might have one lying in the center. Now, I've never used a Farfetch'd either, so Farfetch might be one that I might be willing to train up. So with that, I don't know what uh, Cassini picked up a nugget, which is great. Just for this, just for the time being, we're going to deposit Pidgey. We're going to withdraw my Spiro, and I like the idea of having a Farfetch. So I'm not sure on the rules of trading Pokemon in game with certain people, but I'm going to allow it because. I'm really never used a Farfetch, so I'm going to check Farfetch out. And I'm from memory, I think it just comes on the same level as the Farfetch I send, uh, as the Pokemon I send over. So we'll send Shano over on my uh, on my Game Boy Advance. And we 
get Chadin? I don't know about that name, but we'll take Chadin. Let's let's check out. Fuck. All right. What's he got? It's normal flying. They got Peck, Sand Attack, and Lear. Now, the question is, do I use Farfetched or do I? go and keep using Pidgey. Am I breaking the rules by using Farfetch because I traded for it, or am I well in the marks to use Pidgey? I'm going to leave that up to you guys. If you want to let me know in the comments below, let me know if I should, if I should use Farfetch, or let me know if that's breaking the rules and I should just keep using Pidgey. Do let me know. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Make sure, as I said at the start of the video, at the top, make sure you like the video, subscribe so you don't miss any more episodes. I know Today's episode wasn't the most exciting, we're just sort of fighting our way to Vermilion. But now we're here, we're going to be heading to the SSN next. Then we're going to be hopefully heading into Vermilion City Gym, not too far in the future. And it's all going to start working from there. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.